Hey, Bree. What's up, Bree? Hey, hey. Hey, Queen. Hey, everybody. I missed y'all. What's going on? Hey, Gwen. Tina Bina. What's going on, everybody? Tired and sleepy. Sleepy and tired. I'm motherfucking tired. Hey, Miss China. Y'all. <laughs> if y'all only know what's been going on in my life, my life, my life. Thank you, Queen. I felt, let me tell you something. Yesterday, what they say, men like a woman who, who can be who can be pretty one day and be uh <laughs> Homie another? Yeah, that was me. I was homie yesterday. And I don't mean homie love a friend. Y'all, I've been tired. Um, anxiety has been... We gonna talk. We ain't gonna be on here long, y'all. I'm just waiting on hubby to come home with dinner. But I miss y'all. Hey, Mysterious. If I missed anybody, I apologize. I'm going to tell y'all what's been going on. Hey, Annie, are you okay? Savage expense. Okay, we, we got to get into it, y'all. It's, it's 17 people and only three love. Y'all only show me, three people show me love? Hmm? We better than that. We better than that. Let me make sure I ain't missing nobody. Hey, Toy. Okay, y'all, it's it's been a hell of a hell of a... Let me tell y'all about Monday. Okay, y'all. So, Sunday, y'all gonna hear the dogs. The dogs are, are, are rumbling, y'all. I've been cleaning. I didn't gave these dogs a bath today. Um, Let me tell y'all. I gotta tell y'all what's been up. So, Monday, y'all. Y'all see my, I'm in sitting in a different place. I'm in my kitchen. Um, my kids have been over here all week, y'all. So I had to bring my desk, my computers down from my studio because they were taking over that. I can't work with them. I can't work around them. I can't focus around them. So I had to bring my desk down in the kitchen because I knew wasn't nobody going to be downstairs. The teal is good. I love turquoise queen. I love this color. Let me make sure I would. My titties keep busting out these buttons, but I don't know if y'all can tell your girl lost a, a few pounds. A few pounds I have. Hey, Nadia. Let me get y'all right. I broke my tripod. I think I told y'all that. I'm finna go on Amazon right now, flick of the wrist, and order another one. How about that? So, y'all, Monday, um, Monday, Sunday night, I was so, yes, that's pretty. I can tell you a lot. I lost, like, I'm, let's just say I'm no longer in the 190s. I'm at, like, 189 now, which I know I started at, like, originally I had got up to 206. Yeah, so I'm, like, 189 right now. So y'all, Monday, um, Mon Sunday night when I went to sleep, I was so anxious and so aggravated, like for no real reason. Cinnamon in the building. Yes, she is, Annie. For Mr. K, yes. That's why I said I'm just waiting on him to get here. Let me leave and come back. I know, um, hit the love button for our beautiful. Oh, thank you, boo. You are so sweet. So, uh, so Sunday night, y'all, I went to bed. I was just aggravated and um, anxious. Like, I know why, because that week that we had the storm, y'all, I was out of my medication for my anxiety. Um, so I hadn't taken it for a whole week. And it hit me like Sunday night. I was just aggravated. I was anxious for no reason. Um, my wheels was just spinning. I couldn't get comfortable. The next morning, I said, okay, it was Monday morning. I was going to shake it off, go to my desk, and work. My grandson was here still. Hey, auntie. Um, my grandson was over here. So, Monday morning, y'all, which was the 26th, 
22nd. No, the 21st. Monday morning, I was working and I couldn't shake it. I was just, I was about to have a panic attack. And I just think it was everything from the week prior leading up and it was just hitting me because I was in mom mode. I didn't have time to really sit down and deal with myself. So um, I had a panic attack. I went and got in the bed. I came down from my desk. It's like 1130 y'all. And I literally just walked away from my desk. I didn't sign out. I didn't clock out. I walked away. Went in there with my husband and I just talked to him and I told him I'm anxious. My anxiety is on 10 and um, I don't know why. I'm just really, I'm really emotional, really everything. Your grandson doing dinosaur roars. Girl, no, them the dogs, Nadia. Those are the dogs. He's gone. He's gone home. So... I told him about it. I said, I'm just going to go to sleep, y'all. I went, I went to sleep, and I slept for eight hours. Eight hours. By this time, my daughter had came over, y'all, and she had balloons for my grandson because his birthday was a few days later. In our front living room, the um, ceilings are about 20 foot high. Um... I'm still suffering from the storm. I hate this. I'm in my car trying to get past this. Oh my God, what's going on, auntie? It really, yeah. Um, so um, I got up, y'all. I slept for about seven or eight hours, did. And when I woke up, maybe an hour later, one of the girls said, um, Mama, KJ hurt himself. KJ is my son, y'all. He's 15. I got, you got your vaccine? Um, so, my son with his foolish ass, he's 15, y'all. He's so smart that he was dumb. He's really intelligent, honor roll student, all of that. So smart he dumb, y'all. Y'all, does anybody know, y'all seen the balcony, my, my stairwell back balcony going upstairs? It's about 10 feet high. So my son decides that he wanna try to save this balloon from going up to the ceiling and he jumps off the balcony. He thought he was Superman. Spider-Man, he broke his foot, y'all. My son broke his foot. Hey, Lisa Davis. You got the vaccine, too. Broke his foot, Queen J. Broke his foot. None of my kids have ever broken a bone before. But it had to be that boy. Optimum. Hey, love. Nashville. Hey. Yeah, he broke his fucking foot. So, my husband took him to the emergency room that night. And still, y'all, my anxiety was... I, I knew I felt... I, I wish I could tap into understanding why I feel the way that I feel. Because... This is the same day that my anxiety was on a thousand. <laughs> Just the same day that I was feeling anxious. Like, I, I felt like something was going to go wrong. You know what I'm saying? I felt like something was going to happen. And it did. He jumped off the thing. And that was the reason, Annie. I wish I could understand, like, hey, Monique. So, he jumped off the balcony, broke his foot. Husband took him to, we didn't know it was broken at the time because he did not cry. He didn't act like he was hurting. He's a soldier, y'all. He's a true soldier. All he had to do was spray water and it will come down. All he had to do was just let it go. Just let it go. He had more. Poor ba Lisa, that's where my heart was. Like, my baby is hurt. And I'm still in that mode. He upstairs. And no, my son. My son is KJ. Aiden is my grandson, Nirvana. 
So KJ, he's 15, hey Nirvana. He jumped over the balcony to try to save the balloon for his nephew and broke his foot. Husband took him to the um, took him to the emergency room. They said it was broken. I had to make an appointment with a specialist. Um, me too, true. You can't just stop them meds. I didn't try to um, China, Miss China. I ran out, and this was the so same week that our electricity went out. The same week that the power went out, we couldn't couldn't go nowhere. Yeah, KJ, Nirvana. We couldn't go nowhere, so I couldn't get my medication. I got my medication uh, this week, so I'm good now. Once upon a twin, hey boo. Welcome to the live, y'all. This is a quickie. I just want to catch up where I was missing y'all, and I just wanted to tell y'all what's been going on in my world. So he broke his foot. I took him to it. I had to get him a specialist, took him to the specialist. Let me break this down for y'all. It's the beginning of the year. Anybody out there know anything about insurance? Let me say, Annie, you know, it's the beginning of the year. No deductibles have been met yet. Not a deductible has been met. So that part means that we get to pay $1,900 <laughs> for, for his surgery. Because, of course, insurance pays 80%, thank God. Thank God. Insurance pays 80% and then the deductible and any other out-of-pocket expenses. So we get to drop 1900 um, on young KJ's foot for surgery because he has to have surgery. surgery. Out-of-pocket does hit hard. But just imagine if we didn't have that 80% coverage. Yes, uh, that's what I have, Nirvana. That's exactly what I have, boo. Um, just too much to talk about, but listening to you makes me happier, but still fucked up. Oh, auntie, I'm good. I'm glad I could take your mind off of it, whatever it is. Hey, lucky ladybird. Yes, Gwen, he broke his foot. Take him to the specialist, and the specialist, like, you know, um, he's gonna need surgery. I was like, yeah. The way my life is set up, I knew he was going to need to have surgery. So he he's having surgery next week, y'all. But it still hurts my heart. So I'm I'm nurse true this week. Um, I'm feeding him. I'm I'm going up there, making sure he's not hurting. You know, mommy duty all, all times ten. Mommy duty times ten. So, I really, um, I've been seeing some shit. So, I'm telling y'all about the whole anxiety thing. It's because I saw, um, what's her name? My Jazzy Life did a live, y'all. And she was talking about how she is now figuring out that no man, um, no loss of weight can fix anxiety or depression. That's something that's internal that you have to work on. Nobody else can fix it for you. She shouldn't be stopping those meds because stopping those, it's a chemical imbalance, y'all. The medication is to help keep our minds right. Hey, Sarah's lifestyle. Hey, boo. Hey, Sarah. Happy Saturday. Um, I got some good news to share, please. Joshua, my baby, is... Hey, man, I... Oh, my goodness. We just got the results on Thursday. God is good. Yes, Nirvana. Hey, man, let's put some hearts up in the house for Nirvana. I'm so happy for you, love. I was a nurse mama for eight months of chemo. Ooh. Amen, 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 amen. Yes, let's throw some hearts up in the air, Nirvana. I am so happy for you. Yes, love. That is fabulous. Yes, Nadia. Yes, yes, yes. You never know what somebody is going through, y'all. I suffer from anxiety, too. Okay, Optimum, so you know, y'all, this day, I was just so, I was just so, ugh. Like, the feeling was, hey, Desiree. Um, it's just, 
I couldn't put my finger on what was bothering me. Your son is strong. I broke my ankle and cried like a baby. He did not cry at all. When he went to the doctor, you know, they touching it and moving it, and he didn't cry. That's why I love my YouTube family. Yes, Nirvana. Nirvana's an A1 day one, for real. Yes. Yes, yeah, I am so happy. I am, I am, yes. Yeah, so if, you, if you're on medication, you can't stop taking those medications. You have to stick to your meds. Um, it makes a difference whether you... For, I think what happens is people forget, you know, where they came from mentally. Hell no, Nadia. Why you think I'm pregnant? Um, no, we don't. We 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 do a lot of practicing, but your girl can't get pregnant no more. I have depression and anxiety too, and it's horrible. I feel for anyone that has it. Yes, ma'am. And people don't understand, yes, it is a chemical imbalance for a lot of us. Um, yeah, that's a whole nother story. Um, but I knew something wrong was going to happen. And I hate when that feeling sneaks in. This is, I have compassion for Jazz, but she still does mess up. It. She does. She does, definitely. But... Um, I'm glad that she came to that realization that, that no man can dictate your emotions, how you feel, as far as depression, your, your mental health. Fuck no, not he, uh, Nirvana. No. Mm -mm. Not by here. Hey, Sandy. They can't come. I, I'm not a... Y'all gonna make me she making me stutter. I can't have no more kids. I made sure I took care of that with the last Child and she's about to be 13 mm -mm. We love to practice we love practicing You have superpowers true you can sense something was gonna happen Nadia That's what I'm saying. I just wish I you know, I, I stutter <laughs> stuttering for real I would never ever it, never ever have another baby it'll be between me and God no I'm not trying to start over again I'm trying to get him out look at what would y'all stop It's the dogs, y'all. It's the dogs. Let me fix my wig. Um, depression and anxiety doesn't discriminate. You can be rich, poor, short, tall. I'm telling you, Sarah, it doesn't matter. Divine intervention. It, it doesn't matter. Because I'm telling you, when I was feeling that way, I'm in my head like... Oh, I, I have no reason to be sad or anxious or I'm in a good place in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a great place in life. I can't complain about anything, but when depression and anxiety sneaks in on you, you can't control your emotions. You, you can't. It, it's, it's crazy. It's paralyzing. And I knew, like I told my husband straight up, this is how I'm feeling because I didn't want anything crazy to come out my mouth. I didn't want to say anything that would hurt somebody's feelings. So let me tell you how I'm feeling right here, right now. I'm just going to go to sleep and start this day over again. That's what I did. I went back to bed. I'm just going to go to sleep and start this day back over again. I guess I'm the only one trying to start a family out of this group of ladies in here tonight. Well, Bree, I mean, how old are you, Bree? You're younger than we are, too. Well, than I am, for sure. I, I'm, I'm about to be 44. Right, Miss China? I ain't trying to do that again. Um, we are in... Yes, Lucky Lady Bird. It, it's such, it, it, 
it's a hindrance sometimes to be an empath. It really is because whether you want to or not, you're going to take on somebody else's emotions. It's screwed up. Sometimes it sneaks up on you even when you are on meds. I believe it, but you know, it's very rare that I get down, get, get in my, you feel my emotions when I'm like that. Oh, Bossy's Life on YouTube. I love her channel. I haven't been watching it in a while. Y'all both are great. She cried about her test results, but the baby is here now, and it's six kids, yeah? She loves them all, and hubby. I remember that. I remember that, because that's when she, auntie, that's when she was on her weight loss journey, too, right? She was really knocking them pounds down. Three, I had three boys, but want a girl and i'm 42. ain't nothing wrong with that tina if, if that's what you if you still want to have kids handle your business love i know that part of me is done and over i'm so happy they they are young adults oh my god i am 44 february 11th when my my birthday is in june I will be 44. I'm a Gemini. Happy belated birthday, though. My grandson's birthday was just on the 23rd. And I've been all week, y'all. I've been wanting to come on here and just talk to y'all. But it's like my mind wasn't right. And I just had to get my mind right before I could get on here and talk to anybody, you know? But I love talking to y'all. Y'all take my mind off of you know, things. And it's a bunch of women, you know, you can talk. I was talking to my sister today, y'all, uh, and she likes to bounce things off of me. She'll say, hey, is it me or is this such and such? You know what I'm saying? Like when she going through shit with her fiance, she'll be like, quick, tell me, is it me or is it, or am I wrong or is it the situation? And I told her today, you wrong, sis. It's you. <laughs> it's you. What Bree say? Tina, I want all boys. Okay. Okay for the all boys. I swear if my second child was a girl, was a boy, y'all. If my second child was a boy, I wouldn't have all the kids I have. I'm just saying. Just saying. I want a girl. Uh, Latoy, Tina, I want a girl. We'll be 41. But I'm done. I got only one child. Let's see. It's a gift to carry a child birth. Good luck, you ladies. Hey, sis. Hey, DD. Yeah, if you, if y'all, you know, if you still growing your family, wonderful, you know, but I knew, I knew when I had that last baby that I was done. It's five of them. And I have some stepkids too, so. And I, y'all, let me tell y'all, I've been taking care of kids since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> I, I don't, mm -mm. I, be, I was the babysitter. I had my nieces and nephews all the time. Yeah, no, I don't, I'm, I'm so over. But grandkids is a whole different thing, y'all. That's a different type of love. I can't explain it to you, but grandkids are totally different. Plus, I can send their ass home. They can go home. If I get a girl, it's cool. We just sitting up here. I was just telling them, Diddy, how KJ broke his foot. And how he has to have surgery. So that's what my life has been on lately. Y'all. I do miss you, but I understand that true. Because sometimes we truly don't know who we might make a difference in life. 
That's true, Desiree. That's true. And y'all make a difference in my life, for real. Um, whether y'all know it or not, I look forward to coming live or I look forward to putting out videos and seeing y'all comments. I know I'm behind. Like I said, it's been, a, it's been a thing this week. It's been a thing. But it ain't nothing that we can't handle. Um, he's scheduled for his surgery. Sandy. He's 15. He's almost six foot tall, 220 pounds, and he decides that he, okay, so the ceiling, hey, be lovely. So he, the ceiling, be love, I'm sorry. I know your name, girl. Be love. So the ceilings in the living room are 20 foot high. The balcony is about 10 feet high. It was some helium balloons in the, in, in the play. He was trying to save the, he decided he wanted to save this helium balloon for my grandson. So he jumped off the balcony. Hey, mommy vibes. Jumped off the bal balcony and broke his foot. Yeah, he jumped off the balcony, y'all. Me too, true. I've been watching kids since. I'm telling you, Toy. Tie up, burn them. I don't care what you have. I just better not end up with a baby. <laughs> I have four and I ain't nothing coming out of this. I know that's what I'm saying. Make sure it's burnt, snipped, tied. You can cement my shit. You can hide it from me. All of that. No more. No more babies. Yeah, mommy vibes. He upstairs now. I keep running up there. That's probably how I'm losing weight, running up and down these stairs. Trying to make sure he comfortable. Are you hurting? Are you hungry, y'all? I went and bought him maybe $25 worth of snacks. <laughs> Mommy mode. Like, I, I don't want him to hurt. You know what I'm saying? I went and got him like $25 worth of snacks and put him up in his room so he could have something to grab and snack on until I brought, brought his meals and yeah it's been a thing but it's always got to be something y'all if it ain't one thing it's another it's a whole nother but I'm glad he is okay um he, like i said he took it like a soldier he's not in too much pain it could be worse it could be worse but yeah that's i just wanted to tell y'all where i've been what's been going on i've been trying to catch up and watch a little bit of what's going on in the world um i saw liv's life on some bullshit as, as, as usual y'all know what i don't get what i don't get is what i don't get and i ain't gonna talk on that too long but what I don't get is you were you were offered seven hundred dollars in child support. You complaining that he don't do shit, that he don't do nothing, but you turned down the seven hundred dollars worth of child support. Why not take that? Oh, thank you, mommy. You was missing me. Missing me. No, I'm just kidding. Why not take the seven hundred dollars and then go for an increase later? Thank you, Queen Mika. Hey, Queen Mika. Thank you, baby. Give him a bunch of balloons for his next birthday. They was for my grandson, auntie. <laughs> he was just trying to be a good uncle, I guess. Yes, be, be love. Yes. I don't get that. Why don't you just, why didn't you just take the 700 and then go in for an increase later? Right? Is that is that a is that a possibility? Can you do that? I, that's for sure, Nadia. Can't nobody get her. And she's sitting up here talking about the other chick is weird. Bitch, you weird. You are you. 
and you let me t play the victim. Let me tell you, I can't. I'm gonna just be straight up. I, I'm sorry if I offend anybody. I'm sorry. It, 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 I can't stand a needy bitch. I cannot stand a needy motherfucker. I can't stand a person who always got something going on in their life, meaning that they always bring a negative shit into their own personal space. I can't stand a needy bitch. I just can't. I can't stand a whiner, a crier, a, a he did this to me, a he did... No, I can't stand them. I'm sorry. I just never been around them. I can't tolerate it. It irks my fucking nerves. I can't stand it. I wish a ninja would offer me $700 a month. I can make something shake with that. that mommy vibes. Mommy. I'm telling you. But you can't get nothing from nothing. So how you gonna complain about them not giving you nothing when they, they was trying to give you $700? You made yourself look stupid. If you turn down child support, don't you turn around and complain about them. That's exactly right. Right, B? Hey, B, love. How's that baby doing? I think I have PSD traumatized hell now i can't sleep without the tv that's a possibility and i said that too miss china and i think that's why my anxiety and all of that flared up on me like that sunday that that sunday night because it was just all too much all week long trying to be all strong and shit <laughs> no drama right that's I, I don't need it in my life i, I no um just cause hey just cause I'm so happy y'all are better you said the word adapt adapt 700 times in two videos lol love you I'm, I'm just saying you can't fall victim not when you got people depending on you so what do you do you adjust your shit you adapt your shit you figure it out um it got her set up painting. Hey, my boo. She is sleeping. Just gave her a bath. Oh. The only thing I don't like is when she complains about him not helping and says, he could cash up her $20 or something because you just turned down $700. So how the fuck is $20, $100 enough? Hey, baby. What happened? Nothing happened. They finally came out, and that's what they're doing. They try to get the moisture out the walls. Trying to get the moisture out the walls? From when it flooded. So our I guess so. He said it's got to be on for a couple of days. I had it off for a while too. Sit it right there. Here I come. Yeah. Okay. Um. She does so much to her hair, but her kids. I don't get that, Nadia. I don't get that because ain't no way that I'm gonna leave the house. You think I'm gonna leave the house looking like this and my kids look like they got uh, lint all in their ponytails? Never have I ever. If anything, it was the other way around. Yeah, I might have looked, walked, left the house looking like she be looking, but my kids was dressed, hair combed, edges laid, outfits cute. You know what I'm saying? Would the, it doesn't take much. I don't, I, I've never seen her Facebook, nor have I ever seen her IG. Um, what you gonna play the fucking victim for when you can put a little bit to, a little bit of ingenuity into yourself and your, that's all it takes, Bree, just a little bit of effort. I didn't left the house toe up from the flow up when my babies was little. I had three babies, like back to back to back. A bitch was tired and she looked tired. I look tired, but they was clean. They were dressed, hair combed, ass washed, smelling like baby magic. Anybody remember baby magic? Smelling like baby magic. 
Hold on, y'all. My fault, y'all. Okay. I'm sorry. What I missed? We ain't gonna be here long, y'all. Uh oh. Man down. Man down. And we back. Um, yes, yeah, she. What I missed? I was MIA. What big funky do today? This is old. I'm playing catch up. This is just a video that I saw on her members something on there whining to her subscribers who kiss her ass on everything that she says. So she got a bunch of yes men. Ain't nobody in there telling her that ain't right or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. No. Because she a block they ass. So I understand. She put all the effort into herself. It's sad, Queen Mika. It ain't once, once, once I had a baby. It wasn't even about me no more. It wasn't. It was what? What do we have to do now to make sure that they have the best of everything? That's what it became. That's what it was about after that. Yes, yeah, she is for attention girl bye but why why do you why do you need attention why do you need so much attention like all the time what well, auntie say i saw jazz shit show on a reactor channel they are on facebook going in on her ass nadia her kids hair messed up and she keeps them off of the camera because of that she plays with her hair and won't comb the ears. Uh, she turned the 700 down so she can have something to complain about. I'm not going to make my life harder over it, though. Why would I make my situation more difficult? Hey, baby. I believe that she has little kids that follow her. Me too, Miss China. Me too. It's almost done. So do I, Miss China. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's scary too at the same time because you, here you are sitting up here talking to a whole bunch of millennials, millennials and they just going in head going off of what you say and they're going to think this shit is okay. Creating more monsters. <laughs> right, be love. <laughs> she do. Did she say that? You show right, be love. She watched Team Mom. <laughs> Didn't Gerard say he was her content? Is she calling him? So now she's calling him John. She don't call him um, by his name anymore. Is that what I, I, I? Is that what I'm picking up? Yeah, he in the room. Right, be love enough said. Uh, what about strong mommy Chrissy? 
I haven't been watching her. They not cool anymore. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, show mommy Chrissy. Oh, they ain't cool. Hey, Keish. They're not cool at all. No. I am good. I am great. I am doing good. We are good over here. Yes. We got we we got water. I went a little crazy on water. Did I did? I went a little crazy on the water, y'all. The only Chrissy. yeah, Chrissy and Mean Talk. So is Jazzy and Chrissy cool? Didn't they have a little? Yeah, Keish. I did. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Liv is childish as fuck. Liv don't know how to be a grown woman. And it's sad because she's raising girls. She's raising girls. She's raising girls. Hey, Toya. Yes, ma'am. I'm not going to be on here long. Hubby just got home. I just want to kick it and chop it up with y'all until he got home. I miss him. He been at work all day. Y'all know that, that's my best friend. That's my best friend. <clears throat> right, Queen Mika? It ain't. And, and, and with all the kids I got, ain't nothing extra. Nothing. Yeah, y'all. Thank you, Miss China. Oh, you like my weave? You like my weave, girl? I only got it on because my hair need cutting. <laughs> right, Miss Chua, I know the feeling. Yes, that's my best friend. That's my best friend. I miss him, y'all. He, my husband, y'all know we own a barbershop. My husband stand on his feet for shit. Sometimes 12 hours, you know, cutting all day. Love you too, auntie. Everything is going to be good, auntie. Just, I wish I knew what was going on, but I understand. Toy, what you talking about, my weed? Y'all, this is a human hair when I love this one. I do, I do. I really do like her. She is so soft. This is the new cinnamon. This is the new cinnamon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I don't know if y'all remember, I had like five of these. Y'all know I'm down to one because um, my girls took over. My girls took over part of being a mom, huh? Yes, Lucky. He's home. Daddy's home. <laughs> well, yeah, he's been working all day. Message them man feet. Massage the man feet. Hey, I ain't got nothing against it, auntie. Nothing. What you need, daddy? I got you. I got you. I will. I got a house full of managed people. My type of crowd. My type of crowd. <laughs> uh, ain't no wrong with that, auntie. Yes, he deserves to be treated. Yes, he does. As the king, he is. That's right, China. Miss China, yes, that is so right. I agree, he does. You too, Toy? You be taking your mama's stuff? Now you got me singing the song. I'm sorry, mommy. 
you two toy toy said I'll be taking my mama stuff too. I I guess. They definitely take my stuff, baby number six on the way, huh? She swallowed it. <laughs> it will not be a baby number six. Oh, no ma'am, no Sam. <laughs> Auntie. You <laughs> understand. Go left. Oh, definitely. I am going to. Nothing like I ain't Toya. It's like you caught that Sandy, y'all caught that. <laughs> Your girl is a mess. It comes up, it go from my brain to my mouth like no filter. Like somebody come over here and get me. <laughs> no filter. But what it what is the saying they said? Um, having your partner as your best friend is like having a sleepover every night. I so, so love you, girl. Aw, oh, thank you, auntie. Thank you, love. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be manish. Y'all, have a good rest of y'all Sunday. Thanks for chopping it up with me for a little while. Let me get some things out, out my brain into the world. Say what, Toya? What you want me to? Oh, uh, we understand. Go love it. Okay. All right, y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease. Y'all have a happy rest of y'all Saturday. And get out of my house. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.